Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how do you configure Jenkins job? Let me answer. So in order to configure Jenkins job, first we have to install and start Jenkins and then log into Jenkins. So let me start the Jenkins for you. So I'll show you everything practically, how to configure Jenkins. Uh, I'll just go to the downloads location where this Jenkins.war file is available. I'll simply type CMD here and uh, in the command prompt, I'll give the command java hyphen jar jenkins.war. Since Jenkins is already installed in my machine, it will directly start. I'll just pause and resume the video until we get the message like Jenkins is fully up and now we got a message like Jenkins is fully up and running and it's running at uh, 8080 port number. So I'll simply open the browser and uh, I'll just type localhost 8080. 8080 is the port number where Jenkins is running. Localhost is the IP address of this machine. Okay. So in a while, Jenkins will launch, uh, uh, will uh, take you to the login page. And here, I remember I created the username as Arun Motori for that bin. And uh, 1234 as the password. I'll simply sign in. Once we are taken to dashboard page, now we can create a job here. Okay. Before you configure a job, the question is all about how do you configure a configure Jenkins job. Before you configure a job, make sure that you have everything in place. That is, uh, general configurations are already done in Jenkins or not. You have to see. For that, you just go to the Maven Jenkins, uh, manage Jenkins, sorry. Go to manage Jenkins. Uh, wait for that page to be dis uh, displayed on. The Once you go to this uh, manage Jenkins, here, there is a tools, click on the tools and wait for you to be taken to that tools. Once you're on the tools page, scroll down and configure a few things. Okay. So you can configure Java, where is JDK installation, add JDK and don't select this install automatically. Rather you here, write Java underscore home. Make sure that you have already installed Java in your machine. Okay. For this to done, for this to be done, Java need to be already installed in my machine. I already have installed a JDK version of Java in my machine. So, so I'll go to the location where Java is available in my machine. I'll go to the C drive and uh, then uh, I'll go to the programs files folder because I installed 64 bit version of Java. So Java folder and in that JDK 17, this is the home, home location. Okay. If you have installed Java in your machine, then you will get this folder at this location. Okay. So copy this folder location and uh, give it here as a Java home. Okay, that's it. This is one thing you have to do. And other thing is about Maven. Add Maven. If install automatically selected, remove that. And here, write Maven underscore home as the name. Just give some name as Maven home. And here, give the home of the Maven. For this, you have to download Maven from download Maven. Maven download, you just say, and you'll be taken to one web page. And uh, here on this page of download page of Maven, scroll down and here you will see a zip file link. Just click on this link, zip file will be downloaded. Once the zip file is downloaded, extract the zip file and uh, copy that folder. I have already downloaded and uh, copied that folder at this location. You see this uh, folder I copied in that some files are there. This uh, Just copy this wherever you copied in your machine. Go to this folder location where these folder files are available. Copy this path and paste it here. This is the other thing you have to do. Okay, these are the general configurations which need to be done before. Okay, apply it. No error is coming. Apply and save. Once you save it, it will be done. Yeah, these are general configurations you have to do before you, you know, configure a job in Jenkins. Once these configurations are done, now you create a job in Jenkins. Okay, create a job and uh, let's select the freestyle project. Uh, I'll say project uh, Arun. Okay, my name I am giving. Select this freestyle project, say okay. You'll be taken to the configuration page of this job now. Okay, you'll be taken to the configuration page of this job. Now, this is the actual answer that I'm going to provide. Okay, if you are asked about this, if you are, if you are, uh, if your question is like, how do you configure Jenkins job, then this is answer. From here, you have to answer actually. Okay, so before configuring this job here, you have to make sure the general configurations are there then create a job and all these are the configurations only whatever you are trying to do here are the configurations 
the first configuration is uh, under general okay mm, here i'll write job configurations job configuration and first one is what general okay general section here also you can select the sections general source code management okay under general what you have to do select advanced select advanced select advanced and under the advanced you will see use custom workspace okay under this advanced you will see use custom workspace so in this custom works you uh, select that okay select that use custom workspace here you have to provide the path of the project okay provide the path of the project where is the project available in my machine let's say this uh let's uh say this is a project okay this is a project and uh, right click on this project right click on the project and uh, say properties and uh, click on this folder location maven advantages demo project is the name of the project yeah. this is a folder location of the project copy this folder location of the project come back here here form.xml file should be visible okay so paste it done then okay paste the project path after that use custom pay, uh, workspace and paste project local project path okay local project path like this this first thing what is the next one next one is source code management Se second one is source code management source code manage and in source code management select none why because when you have to select none when you are when your uh, automation code is there in your local machine since this project is in my local machine i have to go with none otherwise i have to go with git okay if it is on the cloud i have to go with uh, Git, github or some kind of cloud platforms i have to select it otherwise i have to go with none then build triggers third one is what build triggers configuration build triggers under build triggers okay uh, you can set uh, set to run the build periodically automatically it will run for example if you want to run this uh, build for every 15 minutes there are some examples here when you click on the question mark here a lot of examples are there if you take this first example copy this code and uh, paste it here it will say that for every 15 minutes it will run okay so next it is going to run at 10th september that is today itself at 159 that is 2 pm okay almost at uh it's going to start running okay like that okay uh, after that again after 15 minutes again it will run okay for every 15 minutes it will run so if you want such kind of options like for every one hour it want to run you want to run for every 15 minutes you want to run then you can set these options okay build periodically is such kind of configuration so in this uh in this configuration build triggers build periodically is one kind of configuration we can do periodically okay then uh yeah poll scm is there one more option poll scm poll scm and i'll say etc i'll not explain each and every option here in jenkins because a lot of options are there next next one is poll scm poll scm is something like you know uh uh when when there are some changes in your source code okay automatically it will check and run the scripts okay such kind of uh, thing is poll scm mm, for now i i don't want to touch build environment uh, okay so so some build environment, some build steps are there. Okay. So build steps we'll do generally. Build steps, build steps. In build steps, uh, you know, uh, build uh, invoke top level mar Maven targets. Okay. This is a command we'll use for now. Build step uh, invoke Maven, invoke Maven commands. Okay. Maven targets or whatever it is. Here select the Maven version. We have done the general configuration before coming to this uh, job configuration, right? That's why Maven Home is coming here. And here, instead of typing MVN test that we generally type in uh, command line and all, just type only the test, okay? Don't write MVN test, MVN clean like that, okay? Whatever you want, clean comma, compile comma, test like that you can write, or only test you can write. Test will do everything, right? So, so clean, compile, everything will be done by test. So, I'll just give the goal as uh, test, okay? Then, post build actions. Here, uh, if you want to generate some reports or something, right, then I can go with the post build actions. Okay. Here, post build actions, post build actions. Uh, and uh, any possible action is there. Aggregate on uh, test results, hardware build. Uh, I generally install one plugin, guys, one plugin like TestNG plugin to get one option like TestNG results. After that, I use that. Okay. So for now, I don't have that. That's fine. Because I'm, in my project, I'm using TestNG. Here, JNIT is there, but I want to use TestNG. Which is not there here. 
So if at all I have to use this post build actions, uh, I have to install a plugin here known as uh, test engine results plugin for this project only. For other projects, JDID you can use. Okay. So for generating the results or something like that, uh, reports or something, we can use a post build actions. Okay. Here I'll simply write for generating reports. Okay. Etc. Reports and etc. So after that, I'll say apply and save. You see, this is how we have to configure uh, a job in Jenkins. The job has been created. You are uh, taken to that particular jo job you have created, project Arun job. Okay. And here we have the build now option. Either from here you can run or you can go to the dashboard. On the dashboard also, you will have this project cre uh, job created. Okay. For job created. And if you have any other, if you miss some configuration and if you want to go back and configure it uh, or change the configuration, you can select the configure option again here. From here also, you can go to the configuration of these jobs. Same configuration page will be taken to. And if you want to run it, you have to simply say build now. Okay, when you say build now, the, the, the job is running. You see, just click on this link, keep click, clicking on this link, console output. You can see the output here, how the job is running and all. Let's wait. You see, it is running. The configured job is running. Test, any tests will run. Let's wait. Yeah, the test got run successfully. That's it. Okay. So not much. This is how we have to configure a job in Jenkins. So hope guys, uh, you got the answer for this question. That is how to configure a job in Jenkins or how to configure Jenkins job. So this is the answer. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.